Susanna, Someone Like You, remixed by Russian Babina. I'm actually really curious to hear your opinion on this mix. Let me know. The hashtag ASOT715 on social media. And the next track is done by a young Dutch producer. He's been making a couple of great tracks over the last couple of months. He's from Zuidhoorn in Groningen, which is the farthest north in the Netherlands. Here is Willem de Roo on my label Armind with his new track, Omen.
last week's episode. This is the future favorite.
Dimension Morgana on the State of Trance. Hey everybody, this is Orji Nilsson and right now it's the world premiere of my brand new single called Now We're Talking. Right here, right now on the State of Trance. Excellent Mark Six, my remix of my new single with Mr. Probs, Another You. And there's another good reason I played this mix again, because if you Shazam the original version of Another You, you had a chance to win a trip with me to Ibiza. And it was really overwhelming to see the amount of emails we got. I'm going to start to read a small part of the winning letter. And if you recognize yourself, you just won a party to Ibiza, including a hotel stay and a night out with your best friend. Here's the winning letter. Dear Armin, a couple of months ago I moved from Mexico to Spain for my studies and I just found out recently that my girlfriend in Mexico has cheated on me. There will be no sweeter revenge than showing her that I'm in Ibiza with one of the best DJs in the world looking for another her. Congratulations to Guillermo Barriel. The team will be in touch with you very soon. See you in Ibiza. And before we head into hour number two with some serious uplifting, here is this week's progressive pick. Hi, this is John O'Callaghan and my remix under Henrik Zuberstein has been chosen as this week's progressive pick on a state of trance. Thank you. 
Party, you're listening to a state of trance, and this is our latest record alive. Okay, boys, let's be live. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Wow, there's already an echo peak. Hello. <clears throat> Straight up echo. Wow. Uh, let's just... Okay. Um... Uh, oh, there's no bands, is there? That's why it's pretty why Echo got picked in the first place. Okay, so we see uh, my brother Blacklight going for that Diana pick against the uh, Echo. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Uh, We've got um, Lassie up. Oh, uh, that's a uh, Mira Lane. You know, um, and we're entering the round seven knockout round. This is the very last one, so whatever. Just uh, 
whoever wins this decides their fate in the finals. Um, yeah. Okay, so it seems like uh, the year 12s here are going for a more typical meta with, you know, yeah. strong AD jungler, tank top lane, really, really high damage burst mid lane. Um, bit of an unconventional support there with the cannon, but we'll see how um, it goes. Recently, cannon's been pretty good support recently. Um, like with the uh, with his stuns, it's pretty OP, but he's kind of squishy, so they'll be have to watch out. But yeah, cannon's pretty OP uh, support right now. It's pretty been played recently, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you got the two tanks top, both with TB, so they're. TP, so that'll bring in a lot of map presence for both of them. Mm. Um, new, new support, <laughs> one of the weaker picks, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, Shivana's been pretty strong lately with the Cinder Hulk, so that should go well for them, assuming she gets gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I reckon. I don't. I'm not. I reckon this game will go pretty interesting. I'm not really sure. The last couple of games have been pretty, you know, pretty, you know, one team smashing one other. But like, yeah, I don't know. But I, I think this game might go okay. So we'll just have to yeah, see. Yeah, we have seen. We've seen a lot of one-sided games. Hopefully, this yeah. is different. But yeah, we don't know about that. So, okay. For those who um, don't, oh, you go. Oh. oh, yeah. For those who don't know, we have the Year 12 team. So far, they have won one game, I'm pretty sure, and lost another. And we have the uh, Year 2nd, no, 1st Year 8 team, who have won one game, lost one as well. So, as far as we know, the odds are in um, Year 12's favour. But you never know. Year eight could pull out something big. Yeah, especially since yeah. Um, we've got um, the uh, what's it called? The Nuna support. I feel like the, the harass in lane is just going to be uh, what's the word? Unmatched. Yeah. But then again, we also and have it's, a, it's also a mirror pick for Jinx. Yeah. It'd be a show of skill in that bot lane. And also, if that Nunu manages to hit late game, those ults will definitely be a bit of a help in the team fights. Oh, yeah, those invisible ults in the bush <laughs> suddenly get slowed and half your health disappears. Hmm, just wondering, we're about to load in in 3, 2, yeah, 1. Okay, here we go. Well, begin to. Go onto the loading screen. <laughs> Get there. Yeah. For the people that don't know who uh, we are for shoutcasting, I'm Fizzburn from Uganda Air Force. I'll be one of the shoutcasters today. Yeah, I'm from Uganda Air Force as well. I'm Dr. Overlord. And I am TCT Savage from TC Titans. And we are going to be versing next. <laughs> as it yeah, we are. we're playing next game. That should be, that should be a more interesting game. Yeah, yeah. That will, that will definitely. It'd be fairly fun as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that game definitely. Oh wow! Look, there's two firecracker jinx skins. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's a good skin. Okay, so um, gonna, from the twelve, <laughs> yeah, you go, you go, you go, Thomas. Oh, good, you go. Yeah. Um, we're seeing that Echo, which may be seen as a bit of a OP pick right now since he's just been released and he's not yet had the chance to be nerfed. have seen a lot of complaints about his high scaling and insane mobility, so we're not sure how that's going to go up against uh, Diana. Yeah, he's a very yeah, dirty um, champion, right? Because, be, because the, you, when Riot releases new champions... I don't know if anyone knows, but they, they like to make them OP so people buy them with RP, you know, more money for Rido. So then after a certain amount of time, they'll try to balance them. 
And Echo is particularly bad. Um, yeah, Echo is the fact that or the damage he absorbs, the damage that he absorbs is when he ults from the last four seconds. That is ridiculous. Yep. Not only that, it does damage at the same time. Um, they're stupidly strong. So... Yeah, so how's Choke? Yeah. I think Garen going to go. That looks like it's going to be a very farm lane. That's uh, going to be a bit of a you know, wet towel lane. Yeah. It's going to be slapping each other a bit. It's probably going to be a lot heavily influenced by the amount the jungler has to do with it. Mm. But I definitely feel like Rexo, of course, is going to be a very aggressive jungler. So I'm assuming he's going to be bot lane yeah, a lot be- this game. Incredibly mobile with that alt and the tunnels. He's going to be around the map very quickly, so he'll be able to, you know, give top a hand really quickly and bottom or mid. So he'll be cool, yeah. They've really got aggressive. two. They they got two majorly mobile champs. They've got Rexite and Echo, but then the rest of them are pretty immobile. But no, actually, no. Ken Ken's pretty quick. Yeah, but, Cannon's very yeah. mobile. And, you know, Jinx uh, get on that gets on that killing spree. She's pretty mobile as well. Oh, that chain, yeah. The passive makes you run super fast. And then, and then there's the other team. They're all pretty immobile apart from Cheval. Well, you got that Nunu. Um, if I'm correct, Nunu has that uh, buff to the team. Uh, Do they increase yeah, yeah. movement speed? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, increase yeah, movement speed and faster yeah, attack so, speed. Yeah, so, you know, they've got, yeah, they've got that. Can't I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to this uh, bot lane with the Nunu uh, support and Kanen support. It's been... I've seen a lot of Kanen support played recently and it's pretty... it's pretty OP. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so they're actually now yeah. loaded in. The champions have actually loaded in. Uh, no smack talk. Oh, yeah. okay. So, Alright, looks like Cho'Gath's going AP. A lot more AP than... He's going to go AD, so he might uh, rush a bit more damage before. Yeah, he doesn't know, seem he doesn't seem tank. to be going he doesn't seem to be going tank, does he? Mm. Straight up. Um, yeah, I oh. guess I guess going up against um, Garen, he's got to build a bit of damage, or he's just going to get out traded in lane, and I guess he'll kind yeah. of get bullied out eventually. Um, we see with the oh. summoners picks. We instead of the flash on Nunu, we have the heal and the exhaust, which is a bit of an unusual pick, but mainly because of the speed buff. Who knows? Is it, uh, is, it yeah. is it due to the level they can't get flash? Yeah. Oh, possibly as well. That might have something. I, 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 I don't know. I know that when we burst, in, like there were certain restrictions. Like yeah, you can't have kind of um, draft. Okay, so we have uh, Shivana starting what seems to be Golems and then most likely Red. And we also see Blue coming in for a bit of an Ooh, invade. Yeah. Mm, yeah, they're going to see so, if they can... Okay, yeah, take uh, do, you think, do you think they're going to go for it? or Because now they know that they're not there. Hmm. Um, Blue has two got insanely high um, early damage. But then again, so does Shivana. You know, I would have thought that Blue would have gone for the blue buff. True, but we also see they have got some very deep wards into that blue buff. Yeah, they probably want to hold the uh, Shivana's um, jungling and just slow it down a bit. They might actually wow, get is, away. That is, a, that is a really That's smart red fight. That is wow. I was not expecting that. And that echo damage echo. is just ridiculous. Yeah, the more the, the lower yes. the twenty um, is, the more it goes to do. Yeah. I think I think you'll go back to lane now. I mean, sorry, go back to base. So that's, that's quite a lot of health. So that's uh, both red buffs gone from the map. So I'm hoping going down at the bot lane. Um, another unusual thing we see in bot is the uh, choice of two wards and three top bucks instead of a uh, support item from me. Yeah. 
That's strange. And also the lack of a trinket as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. But he's very new to this game. I think he's quite low level, as you can see. Yeah. And a bit of a harass mid lane. Oh, oh, that's first, first blood. blood to Echo. Bit of a bit of a twisty play. Oh, that's some serious poke from Cannon. Top lane. Uh, Gaon. Uh, Chogath did some pretty good uh, poke to this Gaon, so I think Chogath will have a lot more um, poke early. I think he's a uh, Doran's ring and going AP a bit more was a pretty good choice on Chogath's behalf. Yeah. Yeah, no, really I, th I, think, I think that Chogath, that person, Mr. Mendoza, had, I'm pretty sure now, someone correct me, that he's played Chogath before in these games. Alright? Uh, so I've seen that skin a couple of times. And I think he know I think I think he definitely knows what he's doing in Chogath. Ooh, the flash from uh Jinx from bot lane on Red Sword from Harvest uh, Beast Best, sorry. So um, he's we also saw flash. early game, Blue was putting out a, um, a lot of wards. Huh? Um, so, yeah. I think she wants to go down. Oh, okay, um, that's right side. Uh, executed by a blue buff. That's not too good. He's going to fall behind a lot now. He's going to have to catch up pretty fast. Yeah, he's, um, he's only level 3. We see Jinx being forced out of lane. Not backing yet, surprisingly. That's very risky. They can count up right now. Oh, 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 oh. That was a. I think that, that was uh, some minions. Yeah, and that goes over to Blue. Blue. Already, they have a strong lead. Um, one point six k lead already, um, and that's two to zero. Man, this Echo is just poking this Dian in there. This Dian cannot get near that farm. This Echo will not let this Dian farm at all. He's uh, so This guy now. practices Echo a lot. I've lived with match history. Yeah. You know, he's just such a dirty champion. Surely they'll have to know something about him. Just the yeah, sustainability, the mobile. I think I think the next Ooh, game we can have a mutual agreement with uh, T Savage and then Echo. He's one of us. Oh, Echo's Go going in for mid on both. He might get this Diana, this Diana kill. He's going oh, in. Rexai's coming away. in to help. Oh, Ooh, this oh, that Echo's thing. Almost get out. Diana. Diana is on nine health and gets away. So that was very close. It's pretty pretty um, good work. Red signs are yeah, in picking up his uh, Even though they had two champions and Echo, they just weren't doing enough damage to him. And then Rexai came in for the assist. She's still hanging about. She's Shivana. She may think, you know, she'd get an extra kill mid, maybe get that echo. He's getting Yeah, so a lot of the wards have, have just disappeared for blue, the jungle wards. And I think that uh, Hawkeye, the Rexai is going to deal with that right now. Uh, by getting shot up Scuttlecrab. Yeah, we're well, also seeing um, on the blue side. Ooh, ooh, top lane. Garen and Cho'Gath have a little bit of battle. Cho'Gath just ate him. Cho'Gath just ate him, literally. Yeah, he's killed Cho'Gath. Look at that. Actual ult. <laughs> and on our blue side, he's actually full of wrecks by Thunder, which means he is going to be very mobile once he gets over here. Oh, yeah. Oh look, the gang going down in bot lane. Gang, right, gang. Right. Oh wow. It's not quite the right amount of communication. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I, th I think that would have worked really well if um, Jinx and, and Cam were there. I can see that working very well. Diana. Chompers, knocked up. Kind of oblivious to that tunnel, but you're actually better now. Yeah, they, the red team's got to make sure that they keep the tunnels out of their jungle and off their side. Okay, um, so. Yeah, no, yeah. And I think they also, they've also really got to focus on not letting that echo take hold and, you know, 
gaining that gold that he needs to get really, really ahead. Yeah. See, his Echo has just turned his ult on. Sorry. Not just, but has recently turned his ult on. And everybody knows what happens on that. It's turned on. He can make some of the most ridiculous getting get out plays in the century. So, Ken and Trump can fake get him both in a Looks like Echo's gonna come bot. See if he's gonna kill. Oh, I, think, okay. I think he's gonna. I, th I think here comes a potential gank from Echo on bot lane. Let's see what how this goes. Really gonna wait. Like e or some sort. And yeah, uh, red side is the dash. And that would. Surprisingly, we I haven't think. seen a uh, dragon attempt yet. No, actually, yeah. Oh, here we go. I mean, oh, yeah. oh. And, and that bot lane just got destroyed. You see, yeah, so it looks like they're going for Dragon now. Oh, good, 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 so it's gonna be yeah, yeah. on the twenty, so such a short cooldown, such a powerful ability. Yeah, that bot lane is just an example of how strong Echo is, you know, with the massive AoE stun and you know the high damage. Oh Chorigath is just so ridiculously powerful right now, I've been watching Rex, him. I may be caught out here. Ooh. Oh, nice. oh, oh nice flash! Uh, Echo's the Echo goes in, and does oh, huge damage to the Jinx. This will be a kill for Echo, surely. Pops Ignite, and yeah. Echo gets the kill on the Jinx. They're going in for the Diana. That was the ult from Echo. Double kill. Double kill for Echo. So we're already we're seeing that Echo snowball into, into the mid game. You don't even need to be strong in lane for Echo. Get ahead. Oh, um, uh, oh, uh, Echo's got another kill. This game is it's, not looking see, too good. We're seeing for a fire, a fire Echo. Yeah, <laughs> this could be all over, especially with the Trogaf. Damage to the raw. Yeah, Trogaf is just harassing that game, but he's just he hasn't stopped pushing this entire game. He's had the pressure up. Blue's already got He's three towers. We've got one dragon and then really far ahead to go, so it's gonna be really hard for red. But um, you know, it's low, so the combats are real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a wombo combo oh, half off! Oh my god, double kill on it. Oh. Oh, okay. And the blue is on mid. And then is another turret for the Yeah, it looks like it looks like um Trogas gonna be doing a good old 1v2 here. Now we just see Echo buying that Luden's Echo. Probably the main. Oh, oh here goes, he's gonna fight him. Oh, oh that's my god, the damage. Jack oh, oh. Shiban's gonna pack off. There's no stat. There's no oh, Shiban is level six. On, we could see something. Uh, yeah, Shabana's obviously just choking lane. Just can't move it quite easily. I want to do it. I want to see the damage. That's right, it's going to come in. Over. 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 It appears um, that we have to buy items because it's not cool. Diamond, Shabana, and Jimmy are buying it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's Oh, that damage is ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah. And another double kill for Echo. I think Echo's gonna use his ult. He's gonna tower down and he's gonna ult. He's gonna tower down? Oh, no, there we go. my god. Yeah, the jail free time. Garen and Diana are just stuck under that tower. Oh, here we go. And oh. they go down. Too much 
that was on the way back. Come on. Or in 13 minutes, they've already got six towers. Oh, that looted Echo on Echo is dumb. So strong. Oh, the yeah. CF here. Right before uh, I get uh, out. Okay. And that's another turret down. I think I think oh, Echo should be oh. going for that Jinx is pulling out a lot of damage up that man. Oh wow. Oh, 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 oh no. Good. Oh he got two to all. Turn around. Oh no. That is a one for one That's stream. Right. This Rexai is not staying out of the Shivada's jungle. He's on top of all. Yeah, we of see it. so many tunnels all yeah. over blue and, then, and red, red team. Yeah, red team should really try and you know step on those channels, but and we see Jinx going down to Echo. Oh, not Echo, Trigger. I've been busy with exams and haven't had any time to play in the role of the today. There's something called a Barmy Cinder and then Rex Hart should have been on. Um, so oh, yeah. we're ending once again. Um, Echo's ultra to get out of jail free. Um, go on if you get any further. Um, yeah, Barmy Cinder. The new item that builds in your sometimes Kate. You know, mm -hmm. gives you AoE damage. So Rex Hart is going to be having a lot of fun with that. In the jungle. Yeah. And that would, that would help me quite a bit. Garen's gonna get destroyed. And I think I think this is the uh, I think this Rexar has got a bit of more AP than the AD side. I'm not too sure because uh, no. He's, he's, really he's, go, he's going kind of tanky. Mm. And the tank could very well oh, 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 did anybody see that? With Shivana and Rek'Sai, he just got tricked. You see that Shivana waste her, <laughs> as well as yeah, her flash. Oh, I know around the corner. Okay. Maybe caught out here. Yeah, yeah. I think he's getting blue. Three blue Say in the chat, there's words such as, there will be a nurse soon. There's lines. <laughs> oh, Tiger. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. And it's going absolutely. Oh, you crazy. finished. This is Diana being echo. deleted. And Echo cleaning up as Jinx takes that uh, second girl as in her dear nudes. Oh, look at this Rexar coming in. Love that one. So good. It's a I mean, not hesitating at all, coming straight into the base. Yeah, just like Echo, he was ridiculously okay when he came out, but you know, a couple of weeks people complained about him and then didn't work. So, yeah, that's not the right thing. And again. another. Oh my god. That was. That was ridiculous, that was going to be a massive death. Rexai comes in, knocks up, team double kill. Echo. Triple kill, triple kill. Maybe a quadra. Oh, Echo's gone for it! Oh, I think this is a sad game, guys. This looks like the Trinity unit for DMU. Oh my god. I think that's the quickest move we've ever had. Oh, there's the old sword. 17. Oh, and the Shogun just has a GG. And that is GG G -G. with a gold lead of almost. Oh, that's so a that's lot. The, that's 20k. The, that's the final knockout. Um, I believe. 17 so minutes, the, guys, and a win. That is the year 12 team. Dear noobs, going into the uh, semi final. So the grand final they'll be going into, I believe. Uh, yeah. They still have one more game to play, I'm pretty sure. After this. Do they? Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they 
Pretty sure they yeah, have they another do. game, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, because whoever loses the game between us two teams is going to end up losing the year 12s for a spot. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, so, thank you guys for watching the first game. Uh, that was. Yeah. Hope you look forward to seeing all of us three playing now. So the yeah. next game will be Uganda versus TCT. It's going to be a very interesting game. Yeah. We go. Uh, See you guys later. Cheers for watching and make sure to watch the second game. Uh,
created for you, but also by you. By you. Interact and let us know which tune you would like to hear as next week's classic by sending an email to Armin at a state of trance.com.
of the most productive producers out there is definitely Sean Tyus. He teamed up with Fisher for this brand new track called Something in the Way on his label Titanium Recordings. The track before that was a, a unique track on Unique Sense, Outside the Bounds, Orbiter. You have to look for the U-Cost remix. And thanks again for all your emails, guys. Really enjoyed reading them. Armin at estateoftrons.com is my personal email address. Thank you, Ashkai Patel from India. He sent me a doodle. <laughs> Make sure to check it out on the State of Trance Facebook page. And I will see you next week for our live broadcast from Mumbai. There's a lot of people really excited in India for that show over there. Another email for next week's event comes from uh, Prashant Pacific. He's driving 650 miles to join us in India. He's shouting out to his friend Susant Gul. I'll be checking his wife Priya. They'll travel along with him. And check out this one. Alan Watts made a rework of Tomahawk.
This is Andrew Rael. For a couple of weeks, you've heard tracks from my Find Your Harmony Deluxe compilation on a state of trance. And this week, it will be released. The story behind Daylight is that I wanted to create something for the summer. A track with a simple and nice melody that will be remembered. That gets the fans to sing along. A song that will make you enjoy your night until the daylight comes. We're running, we're running, we can't stop now Till we cross the border We wanna, we wanna belong to someone To find some order
Hello and welcome to the first semi-final of the Tramby College eSports competition. I'm James and this is Nathan and we're here for a massive game tonight between these two great teams. Yeah, how you doing guys? This game should be a pretty good game to be watching and uh, hopefully we get a real close game. So, right, uh, so the band's currently... The band's currently the band are Luna, I really don't jinx. And uh, on the purple team they've got Lucian and Vane. Targeting their AD carry, uh, Savage. Mm. He played a really stellar game the last two weeks. I'm sure it's a, like a good good way to ban him out here. Uh, I'm not sure what they'll pick up here, but it'd be interesting. I'm expecting to see quite strong team comps coming out from these two teams. Might even be seeing a jungler or another ADC ban. No, actually, Cassiopeia getting rid of that. Uh, so, yeah, Cass is just extremely strong right now. Why not ban it? All right, first oh. pick here. On TCT side, it's TCT easy. Oh, let's see what he locks in. They do have uh, first pick, so they should be able to um, get on that jungle priority. I'll be surprised if they don't go for a jungler straight away. Because mm. uh, Rexai, Dragus, yeah. Nunu. Really strong. Some strong Sin to help Jander. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they pick an ADC because we have got Jinx, Lucian, and Vein Band. So. Severe should be the premier pickup here, but we'll have to see. Or if they want to be uh, real good, they might go for that Bard first pick. Bard first pick, and I'm sure we'll see that in support. Mimicking a bit of the LCS here, they've, they've picked it up. And it's TCT Easy's famous Vi. Um, not too concerned about this pick, he's picked it a lot. He plays it pretty well, so why not? Yeah, really good to uh, lock down any other ADC they can pick too. <laughs> So anyone, they have to have a ADC, which should be severe at this point, to be able to just get yeah, in I'll, and get out. Uh, I'll I'll be surprised if they don't pick the severe here with a spell shield against the Vi, but looks like they're hovering. Uh, um, Bra what's his name? Bar, uh, Braum and Nah. Sorry, I I've got it. It took a while, but it's all good. Um, and Nah, uh, strong team fight presence, especially in Mega Nah form. I'll be interested He's to see if they picked that up. So you just come in and uh, help early skirmishes. <laughs> we might even be able to see Yorick. Yorick. I mean, we haven't seen Yorick in a while. Ooh. <laughs> I've mean, actually seen uh, Yorick in general. No, I don't think we've ever seen him. He's, I know he's up on the rework list and he's back over the Nah. Not surprising. And it's the Nah and Braum here. Interesting. That really um, strong in, uh, initiation currently and just a real huge front line with the Braum Nah. No, yeah. being able to get real tanky and just huge in general. Mm. So currently they have heaps of hard engage, so we might be able to uh, see some disengage coming here and over on the, the TCT side. Mm. All right. Team Hover. I doubt we'll be seeing this pick, but a Morg for the spell shield. Really good, especially with the uh, black shield that can be able to uh, block the Braum and the Nair ults. With, uh, so we got more graves, graves here, really strong. Uh, the more Q into Graves Q ult is just disgusting. I'm sure we'll see one of them during the game. The burst is just unreal. Hmm. Harmony so, being hovered over on the purple type side. Let's see if I, what they do here. Hmm. I'm not sure how that would work with their hard engage, especially with um, a bit of a, a very disengaged champion hunting, setting up a turret section and then luring a team into it 
But oh, we see Jarvin, Jarvin and uh, Caitlin, so... Caitlin, I think, is a good pick because you have, obviously, the early game uh, pressure, which she, but she falls off uh, mid-game. But uh, obviously Same back, with Graves, so... And that's a Instalock Malphite, so... Some more hard engage there. And I'm not sure what that be. Will that be a mid mid Malphite? Or a top Malphite with Aphrodite hovering the, there? Uh, uh, Morgana mid lane. Mm. Yeah, maybe. We get uh, mid lane on the uh, purple side. Yeah. We so might be able to see this Alistair locked in, who should be playing support. Yeah, but you never know with Afro. He's, he's a renowned... Uh, a uh, Alistair player, and I'm sure if he does pick it, it might be the mid. It might be a mid pick. So, yeah. but he's got eight seconds on the clock, ticking down. It's a very interesting team comp so far. A lot of hard engage, and then a bit of utility from Morgana there. But it's quite a wombo combo team comp there. So, well, uh, with all this hard engage, I'm expecting uh, a ch maybe a. A champion in mid who can uh, sort of follow up like an Ari LeBlanc who can just get that burst down well one thing's gonna be interesting is these team fights are gonna be very very interesting I don't this... like this Spiker pick honestly I I'm not feeling it with all the lockdown coming in from uh, the blue side like oh, Elkos. Elkos does fall under the similar boat yeah very very unmobile. Um, yeah, especially with the uh, Morgana Q, the mm. Vi ult, I mean, and all the general yeah. just things that can be coming towards him. I mean, every almost every person on the blue team here, all their engages have a point and click engage, lockdown CC. I'm not sure that Velkos was the right pick into this at the moment. Caitlin, I think, was a good pick. Considering their team, she can stay at the back and get away with her E. As uh, obviously there's going to be the Vi trying to dive on her. And the Alistair followed with uh, obviously the Malphite ult initiate. Which just, if like their group can just be devastating. Mm. I mean, both teams are very, very team fight orientated. Yeah, yeah um, extremely. I'm not sure about this like Malphite mid early game against this Velkos. If, I think uh, it's. I think you'll find it's the uh, Alistair mid, Malphite top. So, um, Alistair top mid and Al uh, Malphite top there. So, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, Very lacking nice. a bit of damage, Graves does fall off a lot. Um, so does Vi. Vi falls off as well. So, I think TCT are hoping to look end this one quite quickly. Yeah, you're right. There's not much late game with the blue side. With the warrior enchantment on fire not being that strong, really need to look for those specific points in the um, in the game to really Early just game. make the most. They really need to punish um, the purple sides mid game here with the Caitlyn. I mean, Jarvan does have a really really nice early game, so um, I think they'll be able to match the pressure. Brom's a bit weak in the early game, and same with Nar, but I mean the scaling of Valkos will just be strong. So strong. Uh, I think they'll be the primary Vitalia at the moment. Yeah, but you won't be able to get away with the lockdown mm. of everything. Yeah, but, su but the sustained damage is probably better than Caitlyn late game from the true damage tick on his passive. Yeah, uh, this is true. Mm. But uh, sure, we'll have to, we'll have to find out in the game. Um, so who do you think is going to win this one, Jack? I honestly have my money on TCT coming into the match, but I'm really r quite confused about both these pick ban, this pick ban phase from both teams. I mean, uh, a lot of AD carry bans, which I'm sh which was uh, like I thought what we were going to see, but um, I didn't think we were going to see so much hard engage from both teams. So um, I'm looking really looking forward to the team fights, and I guess wh whoever's comp comes out on top in the team fight will win the game. I'm just going to have to give my uh, my uh, victory to the uh, the blue side, I reckon, just because their team comp, I reckon, is just much more uh, much better than the purple side. Because I just yeah. think Velkos is just going to be too much of an easy target for mm. the Malphite or the Vi follow up. 
I'm just I'm just a little bit worried that they won't have enough damage. Um, they are definitely lacking damage compared to the the purple team. Unless that Malphite or the um, Alistair's full AP, which I'm sure we'll see either either. So. You need to remember this vial will be dealing damage, so there's the damage from that. We actually have uh, both warrior enchanted uh, junglers. junglers. Unless but they, they both can shoot, build so. Cinder Hulk if they, they, if they wish. This, this is true. Alright, 10 seconds and we'll be loading into the rift. Oh, pretty keen about this game. It's probably the most hype of the tournament so far. The winner goes through to the grand final next week. Oh, what's not to be excited about? Brom also doesn't isn't actually running uh, exhaust. He's actually chosen to go ignite, which okay. uh, is probably a, a good choice considering there's the lack of uh, just assassins on the blue side. So no, and also Graves isn't so much a sustained damage dealer. He's more of a comboer. So the the exhaust either has to be down really quick on him or just not at all. And they've opted for not at all. So yeah. That's, Meanwhile, this Morga uh, Morgana picking up exhaust to uh, that can really shut down this uh, Jarvan if he builds the Warrior Enchantment or even the Caitlyn late game. It would just be really extremely handy. Uh, I'm interested in this summoner pickup from Velkos here. I mean, Ignite, I would have expected a barrier or a heal maybe to play a little bit safer, especially with such a hard engage comp here. I mean, it, He's really my just opinion... Looking Early game kills just to be able to hit snowball, so like they can't even get in on him. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. And we're in the rift. I can hear the music. All right. Pretty hyped first game. I'm sure we'll see the uh, pretty standard pickups here. I'm interested to see which one of uh, Aphrodite or TCT Apex picks up the Doran's ring here. Um, Alright. So it's a Doran shield on the Malphite, so Aphrodite maybe will be taking that taking that ring. Nope, it's also oh, Doran shield. Okay, maybe just looking to survive the laning phase here. Uh, standard pickups from the support. Three pots. Uh, a ward even on Morgana, so looking for maybe a little bit of extra early game pressure to see what their opponents are so they can push up the lane. Looks like we've got TCT having a look around and doing a pretty standard start, whereas majority of our uh, Ugandan Air Force are hovering around that blue buff for the Javan start. So both junglers look like they're going to be starting uh, on the, their blue side of the jungle. So they, they should be opposite side of the maps all the time they do their full clear, which means uh, Nah in the top lane and the bot lane duo will have to be a bit careful on that. A bit of BM here from TCT Hope, doing a bit of dancing. Uh, but I'm interested in this Nah start. Uh, Doran's, I mean, long he's opted out of Doran's and gone long sword, three parts. I would have honestly taken a Doran's and punished the, the Malphite's zero range, but hey. It will never snow. This might work out he better. He does get more damage out of the long sword. He does get more damage out of the long sword, and obviously you can build the phage significantly quicker. It's just yeah. I'm not sure how he'll be able to survive the uh, the Malphite Q damage and just poke in general. Because mm. uh, Malphite yeah. obviously gets a shield from his W, which can uh, be quite strong. All right, both junglers starting Grump here. Pretty standard start. TCT looking for some. Uh, cheese kills in the bot lane. Let's see what happens here. And the brush. I'll be surprised right. if anything does happen with both summers down. Alright, oh. Braum's been uh, caught. And they just have to back oh. off. Uh, they've just walked away from that one. Jarvan taking the blue buff. Same with Vi here. Very standard. Vi is dropping pretty a lot more sustain. A lot healthier jungle. than Jarvan at the moment. Yeah, Jarvan may have to back Jarvan's out. struggling. I mean, he can go straight to Scuttle, take a Scuttle. It's the usual pretty standard route after that. Some pretty standard at the moment. Nothing too out of the ordinary. 
Nah does have the level actually on uh, Malphite top lane. So he's pushing that wave in quite hard. Because Malphite does lack a little of wave clear early. And uh, spot lanes all just hit level 2. Pretty standard stock wave there. And Jarvan, Jarvan hasn't recalled. Um, interested about that. He's definitely behind on the route. I mean, Vi's already taken a red. Jarvan's having to get Raptors here and will probably recall. Unless he's waiting for Smite, so he can Smite that camp, Nathan. Mm. We've got the first Mega Nar transformation of the game. Nothing, nothing too important yet until he hits 6 and he gets that Nar ultimate and it Devastating in team fights, really. It's a make or break, I think, in this team comp. Jarvan's picking up chilling Smite. Looking for even harder engage with the Smite EQ follow up. But Velkov's in mid lane, getting a little bit of poke, but uh, actually winning the trade. Mm. I don't know how much I like this Alistair. Um, sure, it'll, it'll, it'll be alright later in the game, but at the moment, it's going to take a lot of punishment from the Velkovs. It's a quite a large CS def deficit starting to build up between the top laners here. That's uh, four different, five different even. Small engage bot lane here. Fa fairly Just even trade in the AD carries there. Yeah, get the better trade down. Nah, in top lane though, having the, a bit of issues on health with versing this Malphite. He does have to be a little careful when uh, Malphite hits six. Malphite is running low first. on the mana. And here we go, TCT oh. Easy is down in the bot lane, ready for a gank. And they've landed a binding, but Vi has not gone in. So, Jarvan miscommunication in, uh, maybe? Jarvan is actually invading the jungle now, he has to be careful of uh, Vi being uh, there. Vi here. Mm. Oh boy, wasting a lot of time here, Vi. Finally opts to move away. There could be a oh, fight. They might. they might meet up here. Here we go. Small skirmish here. He's missed his Q. Uh, Morgana Gray. I'm sure Vi will win here. Uh, this could be first blood. Afro Diddy's coming down. Doctor Overlord. Oh, a flash from TCT Hope. And it's a miss binding. Oh. It looks like Morgana they're taking out. a lot of damage from that back. They could do dragon here, I think. Do I think they might be a bit, might be a bit dangerous. They've caught Ex Michi here. Roms yeah, there with the there. with the wall, so uh, unbreakable. Nah, now taking right. a, a small CS lead in the top lane, but is taking some damage from this mouth one. Yeah. Graves is. Um, taking up a CS lead here in the bot lane as well after this small roam away. And look at that, TCT Easy is back again. The trademark TCT bot lane camp here. He's, he, oh, he does seem to waste a lot of time. I mean, the lane usually does win. Uh, like in, it always pushes in TCT's favour usually because their AD carry Savage is quite a strong player. And Nas had to recall here. So yeah, allowing more, uh, Malphite to catch up on that uh, much needed farm. But he does use yeah. teleport, but he's not allowed, able to apply any pressure on the, elsewhere on the map without having to roam down. Which does leave Dragon a bit vulnerable for... Yeah. He, does have a, he does have about a 200 gold lead here, the Nar, and he's picked up a Vamp Scepter, which is Java interesting, obviously. To, uh, this is, gang. I think this is Apex in yeah, trouble here. If he needs to use his ult, he can. And he does have EQ flash. going down. And that's oh, it. That's it. He's wasted flash. And that is and first, first blood. Two. two and and level uh, seven. Ratata with a good assist pick up there from Indian Salesman. Uh, interesting flash. Um, I'm not sure I should have used that then. Um, interesting. Well. Um, that's, that was not expected, honestly. And that's just going to snowball Nas lane a little bit more now. He's going to be able to pick up level 7. And he's going to get that, a nice farm lead of over 10. 
This wave's gonna push in. That's a lot of XP lost there. There's no TP use. There is now oh, a small by... lead on for the red team. Yeah, just yep. just over 500. So. Yeah. And I'm really surprised that um, Easy didn't go up there and just slug some of that um, that farm for Apex, so they didn't lose out so much. Well, Javin just handing over blue to Dilkers. Pretty stand. pretty standard for your mid lane. Nam Nar seems to be mistiming these these uh. Mega Nar. Mid I reckon your time is a little bit better. Mid lane is currently frozen around the Alistair to just get some easy farms safe under his turret. Oh, there's a D. Oh! Yeah. I'm sh. I mean. Very, very close in the bot lane battle, and Alice is going in here. Bit of, bit of poke goes down. Jarvan oh, is roaming in the bot side of the river, just checking that dragon for any potential wards. Looks like he's going over the red buff. The red buff red, still here. We will be Vi is on her way. This is. Could this be? Vi is a level down. Oh, and mid lane here. More favorable training for Diddy here. But. Here comes right, level 7, Rattata. Uh, Alistair here. Let's see what they do. Misses his knock up, he's popped his ult. He's looking for a kill here. And he's got it. Yeah. Well played, yeah. Alistair. Oh, very close. Damage with that. Quite a lot. Yeah, he's, he's done well for himself there. And I'd just like to note that Graves has gone back and picked up a BF sword. Caitlyn yet to back, I believe. Sitting on 2.2. Hey, goal. So yeah, she will be a sword and a little bit more, but <laughs> top now getting forced back a little bit by this Malphite. But Malphite is low on mana, so he's not going to be able to do that for long. He's popping back. He's checking some health pots here in uh, mana thinking, pots. Yeah. Talking about dragon, get that jungler down there and just be ready. It looks like they've pinged. Looks like they've pinged for it, and there is. Um, it looks like. Good time to get Again, it. Again, Air Force is onto it. It's a could be a three v two here with Vi coming up. Oh, trade of wards. Pink goes down. Lane with that Alice. Alice is going top. This is a bit risky. Yeah, Alpha definitely. Has teleport, so we can come down if necessary. But, and uh, that's a kill. Ooh. The Indian salesman's flashed out perfectly there, and he's turned into Meganar in a minute, so he's super safe. Bit of a wasted roam there, he should have stayed down for Dragon, but Dr. Overlord picking up a kill with his ultimate onto the support. Pretty I dangerous. Think what but uh, yeah. TCT getting forced off Dragon, and they're, they're yeah. actually starting it now. Definitely some miscommunication there from TCT, opting for the mid laner to go top lane. Easy still hanging around. Oh, the does go down there, nice. Tower dive there by Alistair and now Oh, that's a dead that... fight. Oh, I'm not Whoa. sure what. Graves oh. um, has picked up a kill. Hey, he gets a his life. Hmm. I'm not, not sure if that was worth the flash, honestly. Hmm. And the. Uh, the oh, of... interesting. The gold has evened out a lot with these kills now, but. but the uh, dragon does first. Over there. And F. Dr. Overlord getting uh, harassed again. That's a binding. Is this is this a dead? Oh, oh good flash. Yeah. All right. Uh, first blood still the difference. The 300 gold from first blood. So. It's still anyone's game here for sure. The only thing is, top lane is on a 10 CS deficit, but he should be able to make that back up with the Nar having to. Go back, and he's got a bilge water and a cinder, a bammy cinder. So interesting build. He's missed his Q, getting some nice harass here, Apex. It's a well trade there, really good trade. Mid lane turret taking a bit of damage, but half health. Down to, down to half. That's good. That can be a nice rotation from TCT. And TCT um, rotating down bot lane here. They should be seeing these wards in place. So, uh, yeah, UAF. Uh, so. Itchy and Fizzban just backing off there. And we've got, we've got... Jarvan is coming up to attack. Top. Yeah, 
Um, Malfo does have flash, but he Kiku doesn't. He does have land. Oh. Will he go down? Ooh. Good some great back. damage there from Hyper. But that that's gonna force a recall. So he didn't burn the flash though, importantly. So he's able to uh, still play safe in lane. Yeah. So we still got a few flashes down on the Fire's side of uh, PCT. Down bot, so they should know that he's there. And they'll just pick that ward up there. Well, the gold is now equal. I don't have TCT taking a small lead. Tiny, tiny lead. Maybe 10, 20 gold, but not for long with Nar going to look to push in this top lane tower. Velkos, uh, they're waiting to take blue, so Velkos is able to uh, get it once the pressure does relieve off mid. Although, I don't know if it will, because Afro's got a nice level advantage. And there's an uh, engage down bot lane here. Great disengage there from TCT Hope. Laying the Black Shield and Savage, stopping that Braum ultimate, and also the binding on Jarvan. Disengaging. Very nice for TCT there. What uh, TCT should be doing is trying to get this narrow and be able to get this top side. That's it! Afro Flash, he's pushed Ratatar back. And that's yeah, a kill. Up the kill on, uh, top lane. That's a double kill on the map here. So, oh, Morgana could be in the Velkos does Velkos come down. rotating down here. Misses, he misses the knock up, so I'm sure TCT will be out fine here. But that's a nice two kills picked up there from TCT. They also might be able to pick up this turret top lane with his minion wave coming in to refresh it. And also, but, uh, Easy's up there. So, mid lane will be is... taking the damage for that, but uh, their advantage is definitely swung towards TCT's favor now. Yeah. With first turret going down in the top lane. Velkov's still down in uh, bot lane. It's Moving almost a 2k up. gold lead here now. So that's a nice advantage going across. They're about to be getting blue buff. Alistair does back and picks up uh, Phage and Ashin, trying to go for that pretty good force. Really strong. I am I am concerned about this Nar build at the moment. I mean, he's building armor against a Malphite top who he seems to be losing to. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this. He should have rushed Spirit Massage or Banshees or something. Um, it's interesting. Maybe he's just looking he for that have team have fight. Abused the fact that he's range compared to the Malphite's uh, low range. He does have the lifesteal from the build order, but... It looks like it's a pretty not. big roam coming up here from TCT looking at the Nar. He does get spotted. Should be relatively looks, safe. Looks like they're just going to hop away there. Dragon is live in one minute. So I'm sure we're going to see something interesting going down there. TCT really need to start contesting them. They can't let uh, uh, Ugandan Air Force stay in the game just by getting dragons here. I'm sure we'll see a big fight there to see who's going to be the stronger team. Now both Yo, junglers yeah. here. Whoa. Here we go. It's a bit of an engage here. TCT's dropping really low. Flash from Jarvan. He might die from this. Malphite is coming down. Does have ult up. Oh, does come out. Fire is ulting here. Ooh. And... No. Oh, oh. Malphite goes to the back. Double kill Malphite. Now, now, now he's on top of him. He knocks him on the turret. And he's trying to escape with his life. But Alistair there should be able to repel him. Oh, oh gets double stun. And does hop away. But he's out. Maybe and Austin is up in 10 seconds. Neither team should be able to go for this, especially with all the wards currently Both down. Both junglers can't also down. Way out of the But uh, PCT does have a few wards in the entry to uh, the river. They've definitely, uh, it's interesting, they both have gone uh, the warrior enchant here. And the clear wall, pink, uh, clearing the pink ward here. Bit of rotations coming down from the bot lane. Kind of just keeping their eye out. Nah, just kind of push that mid lane in so they ha have that nice wave in their advantage. But top lane, I think it's slowly pushing towards the uh, TCT tower. So they'll be happy with that. And an engage here. So Double maybe knock up. TCT nah. going in, and he's died. He's down. 
bit failure to go on when the other team, the rest of the team is disengaging. Here we go, a more engage. And Apex is jumping really low. This could be the dragon here. Having to have the two members down. Malphite is basing. He does have TP. And there is a ward in the back of the pit, so. Oh, still isn't up for uh, Vi here, but she does have ult. And but the smite did just come up. And we see that the dragon is live and they are taking it. They've pulled it right out of the pit. Easy's Critical. there. The Alistair ult and Here the... comes the ward from behind. Afro's gone in. It's a big engage Vi. here. It's the rest of the team. Vi falling yeah, very right. quick. Vi's falling down. Caitlyn's going to drop to ignite here. Afro here. Uh, this is a good fight still. It's a 4v. Oh, he's and Savage picking up the kill here. Well, wow, oh, big nut ult there. Oh, that just turned the fight back around. Having Afro to flash out. That NAR play was quite brilliant. CCT now oh. running to the pickles, trying to get away, but Dragon has still hasn't been taken yet. But uh, oh. Af still looking kill. Doesn't have any mana, so I'm not sure how well he thought that through. Meanwhile, Morgana is getting um, for by NAR, and that's and Alistair falling there. And wow, that is just gone straight out of favour of. Oh. Uh, TCT there. They probably were a little bit greedy. Gold lead has evened up exactly now. And that's oh, Apex. Quite cool here. Wow. No, he Pick up Dangerous the on the game. Dangerous game. Too strong. Well. Dragon is still just... up. Oh, we'll get Dragon there. And uh, Baron is up in a few seconds. So if uh, any team is willing enough, they can go for that. But I doubt this is it anytime soon. That was a really, really big fight then. Um, didn't really give it much away of the game. I mean, Nas Ultimate was the saving grace then for UAF, the Indian Salesman, for that beautiful two man. Oh, yeah, you were able to back that fight just to keep them in the game. But uh, Caitlyn has, is now weak, reaching a uh, weakest point in the game. They now have to wait until late game before she's strong again. We've got all champions in the bottom half of the map here. This dragon is a huge objective for both teams right now. And it looks like TCT's aggroed it. Pulled it out of the pit. Looks like they've walked away. Just enough peg from Overlord here. Michi coming TCT in. Gonna have to be a bit diff um, careful for this top lane push, but the uh, Malfoy. Malfoy's responded here, and he's gonna take the mid lane tower. Rotations from UAF. Will they stop him? No, he has got the tower, but here we go. Oh, he Storm has ult. missed. Ult away. And he may even be able to ult engage. That's nice. Oh, that. The wombo combo here. Oh my god. Oh, it's just carnage for UAF here. Oh, brilliant ults from all members of TCT there, except for Morgana. I mean, out of the run up. Just showing. Over. And uh, UAF, just Malphite was able to just follow up as they stack up in that choke. And now there should be a dragon for TCT. But uh, uh, there is one, and uh, UAF can see it. And that's dragon over. So 1-1 one, one in dragons now. And a, a like 2k gold lead out on the side oh, in favour of TCT. Really low. As they uh, ping to actually push the bot lane turret, but Malphite is going up to uh, 60 from the bot lane. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think he's going to make it just in time. Um, good objective there for UAF to take when they need it. This is what I was talking about in the picks and bans about this, the lack of mobility that Velcos um, has. He's easily picked off. And just the hard engage from both teams, especially uh, TTT here, where they just have reliable engage with the Malphite ult and the Alistair follow up. It's just yeah. extreme. Especially when they group like that, there's the Graves ult and the Morgana ult that can just, just decimate the team. Yeah, and I'm pretty disappointed with both junglers at the moment, having really small impact with this Warrior enchantment. They're just going to fall off, and they're just going to have to start building tank stats now, I think. 
Yeah, neither jungle is actually doing uh, that great. With uh, Jarvan just sort of been able to help the team a little bit more than uh, Vi has. Yeah, with the uh, five kill, uh, six kill participation there, so he's, there he's doing alright. Sixty-six percent. There is about a thirty CS lead for Vi um, Velkos against Alistair in the mid lane, mm. which is pretty yep. huge. Alistair has finished the triple off, so he'll have a massive power spike. This could be interesting here. TCT in a ba bad spot. Afro getting caught out here. He has popped the old Rage just destroying Overlord there. Looks like Mitchie's out. And out the shoot Savage. Out. Savage with the double kill. Wow. Rage. So he's happened he's happened uh, to, to turn that going back. He just turned that fight hugely in his favor. I mean uh, Overlord there just got dropped so quickly by the Graves. Uh, again, now a 3k, nearly a 3k gold lead for TCT in this game. Looking to snowball it out a bit here. I mean, Velkos is definitely struggling in this early game. Nah, yet to build any magic resist against this Malphite, which is a bit surprising. Yeah. I, I'm surprised he's like an X drinker just to soak up that damage. Yeah. I'm surprised he's going uh, blade here. I mean, Hex drinker and um, Cleaver, I can see a really great pickups on this team with a lot of magic damage coming out from. And here we go, an engage. Velkoz gets popped again. Two ultimates on top of him. Indian Salesman with a great ult, however, there's no damage to follow that up. Braum coming up, he might be able to get them under turret. This could be a dead mouth fight. And Caitlyn is coming up, this should be a dead mouth fight. And um, he's tanky, but he's very me. tanky. That's a dead mouth fight. Braum. Down, go to Braum. We all love That's my kind of support, Nathan. It's my kind of support. Must have Tau, oh, Savage, and Hope there. That's full. Extending the gold lead. Top. Uh, Tower hoping to get that. Dragon will be up shortly. In about mm. two minutes. Looks like Nile's gonna be pushing in that top wave now. And that tower is well needed gold for UAF right now. Notice lagging the four kills behind the red side, especially in their jungle. They just there is none. There's, a, there's yeah. not very much vision on the whole map. So, so both teams opting with no coverage really. I mean, Morgana hasn't even picked up a sight stone, so they're just relying on each other miring, hopefully. UAF so does have double sweepers, so they can keep clearing it. Whatever wards they do, this. but it looks like it could be a 5v5 mid lane with Graves. Yep bit behind it, but Morgana is backing, trying to get that mana. It seems that they've just backed off here. Looks like they're opting to buy. It's quite a nice, substantial amount in all the the uh, characters' inventory here. And Jarvan was sitting at 2k, which is a lot. But this could disadvantage him in this fight coming up here. Uh, it looks like they just want to push the wave in. Dragging up in 50 seconds. Uh, I'm sure we'll see another fight there. Uh, TCT needing to get some wards in that pit. You are. Okay. And also, no there's sweep. No sweepers, so they cannot sweep that ward out, even if they tried. Morgana so. has rushed uh, Zonya's instead of Sidestone to get that uh, flash ult Zonya's combo working just to follow up with the rest of their engage. All right, here we go. Looks like we're gonna get a bit of a fight going down here. This should be a, a good dragon fight. Each team has all their ultimates up. Hmm. Now nah, close to um, going to Mega Nas nah, to be able to use his ultimate. TCT dragon definitely on a few seconds. TCT are definitely on a bigger power spike here. And is That's this a call out? Oh. And Let's see how Apple's ult is down. Savage. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a great ult from, Val from Dr. Overlord there. 
Also, Grace now, has gone down. Double stun from the ult. Morgana's oh, down. Jarvan now. with a double kill here. 3v2. Velkos defaults to the fight. Now... 2v3 here. All low health bars going around here. Stun is on Apex. Indian does flash away. I don't think they have enough damage to take the both of them on here. Afro... Afro picking up a kill here. Oh, great PQ there. But I don't think it's enough. And... Afro picking up a double kill. This could be a triple here. Malphite is last. Oh! And Malphite does pick up that kill. And that is really surprising. That was a really good fight, early game fight from UAF there, but just falling behind to TCT's tanks, and they've just come out on top. Yeah, the War Enchantment is now just pretty uh, useless this current time of the game. Like They're just unable to get through all the tank from the Malphite and the Alistair. Unable to do much of anything. Braum no. really needs to try peel for this uh, Dr. Overlord here. I mean, he got a really solid ult off that fight, which did sink Savage. However, he's lacking the peel, and he's going down, and he's their major source of damage. And this is Dragon being picked up here, and Afro looking for some really oh, yeah. nice... Apple when they're choosing to fight him. Catelyn is currently at a weak point in the game. She needed to wait until she gets a few more items to be able to just come and strong. Rakata is going in hard. Let's say struggling here. Malphite is a bit way of off, but he does have teleport. But he well needed kill there for Overlord. And Rakata taking Malphite a couple of tower did. shots. That's over and Afro on a rampage. Salesman picking up by. Oh, and there goes. Oh, so we got Graves. two split fights here. And they just need to be feeling for Graves here. They can't just let him fight. Now they have gone hard and they have traded 80 carries here. And that was a missed EQ combo from Afro. He's missed a kill. The Fizban is going down. And Apex, who's so now 8-2. That is one... Both the top laner and mid lane from TCG top here. Top lane turret should fall here. Oh, no, no the TPT's coming in. Will that it be able to save the tower? Good. On this mouth fight. Be able to get even tanks. He saved the tower! On 6 HP. 6 HP. That is one little... Katarina could walk up and sneeze that, but there's not even a Katarina in this game, so... Anyone could walk up and sneeze that. Yeah, but TCT have gone and they've got about a 5k gold lead now, pushing this lead out huge, and they've just they've come up big in these fights. Both 80 carries are lacking the, uh, the definitely lacking. Need. Yeah, I mean, the Morg, she just she just goes down too early in that fight. She's being too much. Uh, I think she needs to be more peel and engage. Because they've got enough engage on their team. The Vi, Malphite, Alistair. Yeah, she and here we go, Savage. Rose can jump getting taken Rave. down Good. again. Yeah. And this and is Hope as well. But Big Alistair does come down. But is unable to do anything to save his allies. Back and off. So, well needed kills there. One goes over to Overlord. Who is lacking a lot of items right now. And he's dead. He's just gone. Alistair, too strong. Way too strong. And the Apex oh, and Arco combo. With Nah able to pick up the kill, and this should be a turret to follow also. But the double kill does come out on Alistair as they continue to chase down these Jarvan. I mean, this combo is just really strong this game. The Afro Apex combo is destroying the likes of. UAF right now. Oh, legendary. Picking up five kills, just four kills just then. Three kills, sorry. Nah, is pushing the top lane, and they will be there to uh, to stop him shortly. Hmm. Interesting to see the variating builds from the 80 carries here, with um, Caitlyn opting for the Shiv. 
And Gray's going for a Phantom Dancer. And they're going to be following up with the Blade of the Rune King. Bit interesting. Yeah. But he did get take. buffed. Yeah. He will be able to. He will be able to activate it with Graves' short attack weight. So it's not. It's not. It's be interesting. And here we go. Mid lane push in here. There's not Dialing much magic to... on the side of the uh, UAF, so they're unable to do anything. But the Morgana. Oh, looking to engage off. still, and she's just fallen again. Definitely should be peeling, I think. Um, this this engage, I've got enough engage. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. She needs to be peeling for the Graves, who is struggling to stay alive in these fights with such heavy engage from both sides. Wave clears going on here. I mean, a locket's been picked up by Jarvan, and that's the first bit of magic resist going down. Um, that Rob's is a still good look up. Especially Rob's with the AP on the uh, side of TCT, and the AoE shield that will be useful in these fights. Savage picking up bot lane here. Good rotations. My fight Jarvan engaging in him, though. Because of the BM, that is a dead mouth fight. That's why you don't BM, kid. And Meanwhile, Savage is also Ray. going down to the 1v1 with a oh, swag flag kill. Oh, so... Yeah, that's... Bit of a misplay there from TCT. Dragon up in 40 seconds. Coming oh, across the wall. Easy's getting engaged on. Nars across the know. wall. Great right ult onto Afro there. But Kane has been left the alone. But forcing the flash out of the bell cards. But yeah. uh it looks like he's he might get away here. Yeah. Easy still trying to engage on Indian salesman here. That was a mistake, because he's going down to hyper. And oh, one more stack of hyper, and that's it. Afro! On a bit of a runaround. Cow just doesn't want to be locked down in the paddock. He wants to run away and roam free. Looks like Nas looking up, looking for a chase here. Don't know if he'll find him. Oh, he does. He Mine's does find him. him. Oh. This could be the Belk in the mid lane. It is. And, the and that's also a Jarvan dying there. Oh, or not. He's eluded the Graves here. Oh, a one stack. Will Afro loop back around to the question? He does not. And there he... Oh. Alvin could get away. Oh, oh he's him. got him with the snipes. From the kid. Yeah. Well. There was no 360, no 360 no scope ladder store though. It's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Oh, TCT looking for the third dragon of the game. For that 5% move speed. Looking for a slow win maybe. Goldlin has definitely eased up to around 2k. Or just 2.4k right now. 1.8. Oh, math OP. Yeah. Small so, tree. yeah. So, math OP, Nathan. So, it's, it's interesting. They've, they've brought it back. Um, still anyone's game. TCT definitely with a nice, with a small lead. But, I mean, as we saw, they are doing a bit of BM. Playing a bit out of position. Never know what's going to get them. So, yeah. Frozen Mal is picked up from the Navo. Mm. He's still lacking any uh, magic resist against the Malfoy, Alistair, and Morgana. They're all yeah, pretty uh, squishy, apparently. I'm not sure. Every single not... person on the team of UAF have opted to, to pick up armor over magic resist, which the team is clearly like prioritizing here. I mean, Afro does mainly magic, TCT's all AD, Malfoy's AP, Hope's AP, and Fi is a bit of mix, mostly AD though. The they have is from the Jarvan, just, that's just not enough, really. Yeah. Especially with the tanks just not being able to take any damage from the Malphi and Alistair. Yeah, well, Malphi has a disgustingly large amount of health. 4,400. That, so, that is a really strong front line. Hopefully so this translates... The damage will be falling off shortly with uh, Alistair and Malphite just picking up more uh, defensive items rather than guns. 
and right and attack. Yeah. I'm gonna buy something for the black possible player. Baron from the side of UAF. It's more, it's yeah, they've, very much, if they do it, it's They're very rotating up for Apex here. <laughs> this could be a dead Apex. He's very tanky. They've got a nice, a nice amount of shred here. Oh, that's an ult out. Jarvan's gone right. in and it's a flash. We're all smited. Oh, oh my. No, and they just seem to just Absolutely. rotate yeah. down in time with TCT I with a nice, nice uh, binding to disengage. And level 7, Ratatouz caught out here. Oh, and knocks him over. Afri oh, whoa, I think that's a bit of BM going down there. Um, he had ample time to walk around him. So, interesting, interesting maneuver. But a bit of a top lane push here. Dragon has gone down, so that's not to worry about. Baron yeah, on the map though. And the back lane line of UAS is getting attacked apparently. Draw Megan are up. Be able to get it, get it away. Now we're about to change into Meganar here. Oh, Vi getting Pit very close to death from the spell result. And the uh, Graves looking in. Savage coming in here. Beautiful spell shield there. Uh, does Savage. mitigate. Uh, getting a bit too close. It looks like they're all out. Now so. I've taken up any damage. TCT really needs to rip up the Siege and Turret, it's extremely yeah. strong right now. And also I'm worried about them falling off extremely hard, especially the Graves. The Graves and the Vi here, which is their main sources of damage, I'd say. Yeah, Caitlyn's starting to get quite strong again. Picking up the... Uh... Picking up that last Whisper, which is a fantastic buy against the team. They've all bought armor and... I mean, brilliant itemization. Good choice. I like she could have gone the blood first off, but I'm I'm happy that she's picked this up. It was a good decision. Wouldn't you agree, AD carry main Nathan? I do, I do. Last Whisper is just such a strong item. It's a bit ridiculous. Whereas Graves, I'm sure we'll be picking that up very soon. Um, although he's going like he's opting. Okay, yeah. Blood blood first. Yeah, I'm interesting picking, picking up both. Bottom, Guardian Angel type thing and just gonna be behind the last whisper after that. The only thing with that is every single member, except for the AD carry, have armor on the uh, team of UAF. So that might be a mistake. He does have yeah. the he does have the um fork for on hit deal eight percent max damage, which is really strong. So I don't know, but look there. Uh, here we go. Finding lands on Fizban here. Looks like they're going to siege out the tower. Jarvan coming in from the side. Good character. All goes down on Afro. Easy getting knocked up. Oh, Let's into the turret. Caitlyn does fall. Caitlyn goes and down to the ult. That is. Finding goes on Indian salesman here. Oh, that's Afro's on the other side. Man. Pushes Indian salesman back. The only person back dead is Caitlyn. But they continue over the ball, and now with the ult, oh, able to get two of them, but they should be able to continue going on. And, and here goes down with Jarvan, great peel from Easy there, good good rotation down to stop out, and there goes Afro, he is just yeah. a monster. No, none, and they should be able to pick up an in here. They can push into Salton the base. Salton is coming back here, but he's not, not much, much impact yet. without, without it, the Mega Nar form. Baker's down the first inhib of the game. They can rotate down for Dragon here, which is just spawned. This is perfect timing. Looks like Vi's heading that way. They're Pull that fourth Dragon. Baron too soon, especially to punch through the uh, the turtle on the uh, UAF. Or well, they get this Dragon, wait five five minutes, and get that fifth Dragon and push in to win the game. Because that ignite on every ability, auto attack, whatever you do. Is so strong. Why not has both? Yeah. Why not? Matt Goldwitz pushed out to around 7k. So 
That'll be looking is quite like strong now. I need just to see what TCT go back and pick up. Braves are sitting on a lot of gold, 2k. So, I wonder if we'll see that the Bork? I mean the uh, Alistair Bloodthirst or 111 game. Just absolutely playing like a crazy cow. Yeah, I think he's on Mad Cow. Yeah, he's playing Mad really Cal strong. I think he's got it. I mean, look <laughs> at that. Look at that. He has bought, he has done the smart thing and bought a locket for the team, which is really smart and all they need really for one Valkos is doing magic damage. So, uh, uh, he's definitely, TCT definitely, oh, a bit of engage here. I did come over the wall. Looking pretty low. There's only three members there, three tanks and not much damage, so. We'll see how that turns out. Yeah. Uh, UAF, UAF I'm looking how to itemize properly. Just to the yeah, damage. The lack of magic resist is just very poor. Um, Definitely look at the game here. They, they probably would have had a chance if they itemized properly with the magic resist instead of stacking all that armor just for the graves. That's a, a ward, a couple of wards down near the Baron pit. Um, definitely looking to... There's now about an 8k gold lead on the side of piece CCT and they should be able to end this one soon. Mm. Well look at that. There's a Rabidons and a tier. Very late tier. On, uh, on Morgana there. I'm not sure if that was a great purchase. Um, oh, I really hope the game doesn't go that long. I mean... Uh, We've got this yeah. yeah. We yeah. Well, Indian Salesman, almost in Megana. Great time to pick a fight here. Throwing some wards up. Oh, it looks like a death push. TCT. The Wombo combo. Uh, oh, Malphite ult. And level 7 Ratatar's gone in the back here and he's just been destroyed. Unable to communicate. Overlord. Oh, the wall. Huge ult there from uh, Easy. Easy's taking that down, Overlord, and this should oh. now just be clean up from DCT. Clean up crew from Savage here, I think. Oh wow, that ult doing so much damage, and this could, this could be game. Salzman's just going to get out on a tiny amount of health. But does have TP, so you can TP and make. Done. And here we go. It should be over pretty soon. I think this might be GG. Salesman can't really do much unless in Megana. Afro's popped his ult. And well TCT. played. TCT should will be take. going through to the first ever Trandy College League of Legends series grand final. Well done. Great game. Yeah, you got to give it to them. Like, they're just able to play their comp just extremely well. And just the lack of magic resist going from the side of the UAF was just such a poor like way to do it. Like they're just taking so much damage from the side of uh, TCT. Well, TCT did out rotate them, and that does end up in the win with the fourth dragon going down. If they had lost that fight, they could have gone set up for fifth dragon. Well done. Looking at the looks like we have Dean Noobs versing. Yeah, very close early. Game. The very, game. very close early. Game. Uh, and Velkoz doing a total of seventy-five thousand damage together with uh, Nar doing forty thousand damage. When uh, mm. over on TCT, neither none of them are, were able to get over thirty thousand damage to dealt to champions. So the damage was there on the side of the UAF. They were just just were taking too much in during the team fights, and they were just they lost because of it. Mm. I mean, well, TCT going through the grand final, and then we've got uh, good old UAF will be up against Dear Noobs, and I think a best of three, for this, or maybe just a best of one for the second semi finals next week, which will be a huge game. I mean, the year 12 is looking to redeem themselves after losing their first week match to TCT. So I cannot wait. Well,
This is Nate. This has been James, and that's Nathan, and we're Thank out. You. Thank you. Trans. <laughs>